How is your device affecting your happiness? This is an important question we should ask ourselves often, as this is where many of us invest a lot of our time. Studies show that the average adult invests between three to four hours a day on their smart devices. The device itself neither has a positive or negative effect on our lives. How we choose to use it, on the other hand, does. Taking inventory of our media consumption is a great place to start. Take several minutes to review the media that you've engaged with over the last several days and reflect on how it makes you feel. Does it inspire and empower you, or does it drain you and negatively impact your mood? If you find that media does the latter to you, then it's time to make some changes. A great place to start is to change what you are listening to. Personally, I find that this is the easiest type of positive media to add into our lives. The reason being is that you can easily pair this habit with other activities. Since you do not need to look at the screen, you can do this while you're driving, walking, making dinner, cutting the lawn, and even showering. Listening to positive audio can transform a typically boring activity into one that is inspiring and engaging. For instance, try starting each day listening to songs that help you get into a positive mindset. For instance, each morning when I'm getting ready for work, I play music from my gratitude playlist. These songs help focus me on what I'm grateful for and help me start my day focusing on something positive. I also have playlists that motivate me, relax me, and even make me laugh. I select the playlist depending on how I want to feel. Another great way to bring in more positive media is listening to audiobooks. Often I find it can be difficult to find time to sit down and read a book. This is unfortunate as books often inspire our thinking and deepen our knowledge in areas that we're interested in. To be honest, I find it difficult to make time to read. However, by listening to books while driving, I'm generally able to get through at least one or two each month. There are many great options to find audiobooks. You can pay and subscribe to an app like Audible, which makes it easy and convenient to get a wide selection of books immediately. If you work out the cost, Audible is cheaper than buying the hard copy of the book. There are also cheaper options to explore. For instance, apps like Cloud Library, Libby, Overdrive, and Hoopla are cheaper or free alternatives to getting audiobooks. Often you can connect these apps through your public library and take out books for free. It works just like taking out a book from your library. You sign the audiobook out with your library card and you have it for several weeks. It's a great and affordable option to explore. Another amazing option to increase your positive input are podcasts. Often these are short and engaging segments based on an endless amount of topics. Both Apple and Android have free podcasting apps built into every device. Just search by name or subject and start listening. If you're looking for a couple of education podcasts to get you started, try Cult of Pedagogy with Jennifer Gonzalez or Teach Happier with Susan Daly. Both are very informative and inspiring. When making the decision to increase your positive intake of media, you may also be making the decision to decrease your negative intake. Essentially, you can replace listening to the news and gossip with media that will empower you and make you feel happier. As you're making the shift to more positive media, remember to share it with your staff. Perhaps in a staff meeting, create a staff wellness playlist or follow a podcast together. It's important that we share positive media with each other as we find it. Then look for opportunities to share this learning with your class. For instance, start each day with a mantra song or something that inspires students to be their best. Or go one step further and make a playlist with them or follow an inspiring podcast. The key is to get them thinking about how they can use their devices to increase their positive intake and improve their overall well-being. It is small changes like increasing your positive intake of media that will have a major impact on how you see the world and how happy you are. Thanks for joining us and remember to strive for happiness in education. You deserve it. Mm -hmm.